Objection that was made to me. Objection, Your Honor, is again not respond. Judge, we don't, the problem is the questions are compound, so we tell them which question what's an answer and give them a fair opportunity. I, the question seemed fairly straightforward. I think Mr. Saunders, as is, 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 is expected, wants to explain it. Um, but the question, I think, was. Judge, you should go out to explain it. I mean, well, you can. Maybe take it out of context. He, he, He's allowed to explain. Well, he's allowed to explain. Generally, he's allowed to explain on uh, redirect. If you want. There's something that needs to be clarified. Uh, if 
for some reason. Or can happen. So your testimony is essentially you told the detective saying during that two-hour interview that incriminated you so you could go home. Yes or no? Yes. No further questions. Would you like to explain? Yes. Please explain. Sitting in the holding cell, Detective Inglehart came told me a suggestion of who may be to cooperate so that we can sit here and get you home. Let, let me ask you this question, Mr. Saunders. What, what was your perception if you had gone in and they explained your rights to you and you said, I don't want to talk? What did you think would happen then? I was going to judge okay. If you sat there and told the officers you didn't do anything wrong, what's your perception about what would have happened? I was going to judge them. So, you talked with the officers, and at some point, as the uh, prosecutor said to you, at some point you took over the interview. You got upset during the interview, is that correct? Yes. Why did you get upset during the interview? Because they told me that I was taking drugs into the prison. Did, by the uh, substance and tone of the questions, at some point did it seem that they were saying you were lying? Yes. Did that upset you? Yes. Were, did, were you clear and emphatic with the police that you had never taken narcotics into jail, any contraband? Yes. Had you agreed with Tasha Swain that you were going to take anything into the jail? No. Did you agree with her to do any such thing on November 20th? No. Did you agree with her that you were going to do any such thing at any time prior to November 20th? No. Now, you sat here and you've heard most of the testimony, including that of Lacobe and Shepard, correct? Yes. Did you hear Lacobe and Shepard testify that he gave you Tasha Swain's phone number? Did you hear him testify to that? Yes. You heard him say that? Yes. Sure about that? So, Judge, you want to add some answers? No, I didn't ask Kim before if he's sure about that. That's a question. That's sure about that. They answer that. You sure about that? If you don't know, don't know. It's fine. I don't know. Okay. You read. Officer Robbins' report, is that correct? Yes. Now, in Officer Robbins' report, does it include all the details about what he testified that he did that day? No. Does it include any, in his report, any explanation that he brought Small into the, uh, into the unit? No. But he did bring him into the unit, correct? Yes. And you saw him bring him into the unit? Yes. There were only two correctional officers working on six units that day, is that correct? Yes. And you were one of them, correct? Yes. Now, is there a reason why co one correctional officer would not pat down another inmate while the other correctional officer is not around? Just explain that, if you can. Do you understand what I'm asking? No, you see. Okay. Yeah, is there any kind of practice or policy in place that would uh, restrict a correctional officer from being outside catching someone and then patting them down while the other inmate is there. Yes, they don't, they do not want us if, number one, they don't want us, if you have a partner there, they want you to do it with your partner. Okay, why? For safety reasons. Okay. Now, was there any other correctional officer available that day that could have assisted um, Officer Robin? when he located uh, Mr. Small. Other than himself, is anyone else there for the system? If he had been call on the radio. Okay, but I mean, was there anyone? Oh, no, not, no, not on you. You're the only one there? Yes. When you were told that there were uh, drugs in the ladies' bathroom, 
Did you immediately notify your supervisor? Yes, when he came around, I told him what was going on. And do you remember the date of that? Uh, that was in I want to say June. Okay, June of 2013. Now you looked at this case and you looked at all the discovery, correct? Yes. When you look back at that, do you believe that was a setup to see if you would report it? Objection, Your Honor. Call for speculation. No, Judge Anderson did that. In his well, mind, I'm asking him to speculate. He's asking to speculate with his mind. That is speculative. It's just that what, he, what he believes, that means he's, he's determining what other people's intentions were. I don't think he can do that. He may have felt like it was, but I don't think he can say that that's what would happen. Thank you. Did you feel like you were being set up when you look back at it? Yeah. If, if the question is permissible, Judge. Yeah, that's fine. I asked it. Did you at any point ever ask Tasha Swain for $1,000? No. That, that uh, portion of your testimony about um, snitches and you don't want people ratting and so forth, explain that in a little more detail if you would. Uh, was the purpose of your saying that to uh, inmates on Unit 6, was that so illegal contraband wouldn't be discovered? That is a leading question. Why? What was the purpose? Okay. What was the purpose of that? Uh, the purpose of me saying, I said, the purpose of it was if, you, if an inmate sat there and dropped a, uh, let's say, dropped a note just to get someone off the unit, mm -hmm. then it all depends on how they dropped the note or what was said in the note. Then you would have you would have the GAs and the other officers would come over there and they would tear the whole unit up. Now, if they if nothing was there, they found out which is good. They found something which is good, which is even better. Mm -hmm. But if you did it just to get rid of somebody, now all of a sudden you got images that got their property thrown around, mm -hmm. they have pictures they may be lost. Um, sheets, pillows, which is scarce that may be, something may be happened to them, happened to them, whatever, now that they, they fix. So is that why you told, is that what you were doing, telling the inmates, if you have a problem, just come to me, we'll get it straightened out. Is that yeah. why you're telling them? Uh, about the beds getting tossed, because if someone dropped a note, that could happen, the beds could get tossed, correct? Yes. Have, and you have been involved in tossing beds yourself, yes. right? Have you ever caused that to happen? In other words, you, have you ever initiated beds getting tossed for any reason? No. I do, I do searches myself. Okay. You go, you've been in inmates' quarters and search? Yes. Have you ever lo located any contraband when you search? Um, yes, I have. Did you turn it in? Yes, I have. Did you write a report? Yes, I have. Now, <clears throat> You were asked about the file from the day John Small was arrested, correct? Yes. You wrote your report? Yes. What did you do with your report? I gave it to my sergeant. Once you give it to your sergeant, do you have any control of that report? No. If you didn't write a report, withdraw that. Officials at the prison, if you wrote a report, they can access that report, correct? Yes. Anything in the discovery you read that indicates that you were not on the unit that day when, when Small was arrested? Anything you uh, read in the discovery that refutes whether or not you were there? Uh, no. As far as our report goes, it shows that I wasn't, that I wasn't there. Okay. Now, you remember when I think it was uh, Suzuka testified? Yes. SID? Yes. You remember his testimony? And his he, where he indicated that he didn't believe, and I'm just paraphrasing, he didn't believe you even worked that day, correct? Yes. And then you heard uh,
Schmoll say you were there. Yes. Sir. Then you heard Robin say you were there, correct? Yes. But you didn't do anything. Yes. Okay. And if in such a situation, if you didn't do anything, you could be disciplined for that, correct? Yes. Now, you said you text your coworker on 11 20, 2017, correct? Yes. And you sent her a picture of the card and the money. What yes. happened what happened to the card? I still have. You still have the card? Yes. Where's the card? Still have the picture you took. Yes. Where's the picture? In my phone. Does the picture, you know what I mean? Say metadata with the picture. Will it show the date you took the picture? Yes. The location where you took the picture. Yes. And the time you took the picture. Will it show that? Yes. Mm-hmm. 